are we about to get lucky, Jets fans? I think we might. This is Jeremy from Jets Chaos here to talk to you about the possibility that Trent Williams really is not going to play for the San Francisco 49ers next Monday. Look, we're like a little over a week away. We're eight days away from this game. And as we approach, as of right now, Trent Williams is not in camp. Um, just like we are with the Hassan Reddick situation, you know, uh, when's the countdown till he's going to miss week one, even if he shows up? Remember, even if he comes to their camp in shape, you got to be in football shape. Now, I know a lot of people were more focused on Ayuk and thought that's the guy who, you know, oh, if he doesn't play, the Niners are going to have one less weapon. But the truth is, this is the much bigger loss for the San Francisco 49ers if Trent Williams does not play because we have great cornerbacks. The Jets have a great secondary. We should be able to contain Ayuk. That shouldn't be that much of an issue. I mean, yeah, guys like Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, no matter how good you are on defense, you're always thinking about that. Like, wow, Ayuk is really good. He's not at that level. At least I don't think he is. So I'm not as worried about him. And I, in my honest opinion, the more important position is left tackle, especially for the Jets. Like the opportunity for us to be going up against a backup left tackle and for the 49ers to not have their best offensive lineman is a huge break for us, especially when our key to victory is pressuring and uh, Brock Purdy beyond belief. If we want to be all over him and pressure him, this is the perfect situation. Now, some people might say, yeah, but we don't have Hassan Reddick. Look, again, I will take that trade any day. Yes, I will happily not have Hassan Reddick if they don't have Trent Williams. That's a great trade in our favor because we still have an incredible defensive line. Don't forget they have a rookie guard as well. So they're... Look, this could be a huge issue for them. This is exactly what we need, a situation where we control the line of scrimmage with our defense. If we control the line of scrimmage, if we dominate them and get to Brock Purdy, they're going to have a real big problem. Now, some people might say, I don't want any breaks. <clears throat> I want to play them at their best. Well, look, this is a Super Bowl team that we're playing against, and we're playing on their field week one. They've been together for years, most like uh, very high, like 90% of their players are returning. They know their system much better. They have a lot of advantages on us. We much, you know, we're at a disadvantage to have to go against them week one, a team that's much more in tune, that's been together a lot longer. So we could use any break we want, you know, we can get. In the, if we would have played them week 10, I would say, yeah, you're right. If we play, if we were to go to the Super Bowl, if the miracle happened and we happen to have to play the 49ers, you're right. We need to be able to beat them at their best. But it's a different situation because we're playing them week one, and that was a really bad break for us. In some ways, it was a good break, get the toughest game over with. But in a lot of ways, you could look at it as a bad break because – they have a huge advantage as far as just returning players, knowing the system, whereas we have an offensive line that, as good as they look individually, are going to have to learn to play together with Aaron Rodgers, who hasn't played in, you know, missed all of last season with the exception of four snaps. Look, and Hassan Reddick not being there, because, again, you know, if we played them week 10, in all likelihood, Hassan Reddick is going to end the holdout and return, unless he's actually going to end his career. We've talked about that. So I'll take the break. Are we going to get lucky? Is Trent Williams not going to play? I don't know yet. He could come to camp tomorrow, and that would be on Monday, and have a full week of practice and play. He's a veteran, so that's very possible, but it hasn't happened right now. So the question is, what do you think? Put it in the comments. Do you think that this is a lucky break for us? You know, are you someone who's still upset by it, by saying, we don't need any lucky breaks? However you feel about it, leave it in the comments. Guys, appreciate all the support as of late. If you like the, the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you could click right there on the better looking version of me. That's a better looking version, isn't it? Or you could just, you know, watch some more videos. I appreciate it. And go Jets.